Hey guys, it's me, Darlene, and we are, so those guys behind us are a group that's advocating for the 9-11 bill that covers the healthcare of the firefighters that breathed all the crap on ground zero and got sick. It, 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 it ends, it's ending and this, they're, they're advocating for a vote for an extension, which is a good thing. Um, I don't know all the politics of it. Just listen to John Stewart speak. Um, he's a pretty funny guy. I'm going to add that in here. But we are... at the U.S. Capitol. And there is the U.S. Capitol Christmas tree right there. So, not a bad day. Um, sometime soon I'll tell you why we're in D.C. today and why I'm wearing a tie. Look, crazy, huh? Smile. ...his office and ask him personally, in 2000, you sponsored the nuclear energy permanent health care bill. You made a campaign commercial touting your support for that bill. That bill has to date cost $11 billion. Everyone here is asking for something that is $4.6 billion. How in good conscience can you deny them the very thing that you have proudly brought to the people of your state? Please personally ask him that. He also has in the state of Kentucky coal miners who have a permanent health care bill for black lung disease. Both of those bills are worthy, they are solid, but there is no bill more worthy and solid than the one for 9-11 uh, uh, first responders, permanent health care, fully funded with the Victims' Compensation Fund. These guys should never have to come down here again, if or nothing else. I don't know if you all could survive another one of these political press conferences. This is the most boring thing I have ever been at. And I've been standing next to John Field, who is as a filthy mouth, and has been saying nothing but profanities and vulgar jokes to me, and I am still bored and cold. Uh, so, so this is it. This will be the final one. The next one will be the celebration of your country finally doing the right thing by all of you. I thank you, I respect you, and I wish you all the finest holiday uh, you can have. And I've got to go vote. I have to go vote. John, your lips to God's ears. He certainly has a unique perspective on everything. At this point, uh, I'd like to open up to the media for any uh, questions.